Okay, so this is just a little tutorial on Gimmick Studio's new physics engine. So as you can see, so far I've already loaded in three sprites, but that is about it. This is because this is a basics tutorial, so this will just help you get started on the new physics engine. So, here we go. Let's start by creating an object. We will have it be the um, new ball object. So I'm going to tie it to its sprite and then give it a name object ball. It's it's nice to stick the object in front, uh, especially when coding afterwards. So now to add physics to it, we need to check this little uses physics button down here, right next to the OK button. So as soon as I check that, physics is now enabled for this object. So the important parts are the different options here, obviously. So the collision mask is the first and most important part. We have here circle, box, shape in the options. I'm going to go with circle because obviously it is a circle. I can modify the collision shape. Um, very important button there. So what happens now is as we can see we have a little uh, circle over here that this is the collision mask. So all I have to do is grab that and move it over to the center of the ball. So as you can see it's, it's aligned there. If I wanted to change it I could just do that and then it would instantly change it to a different size. But this this will work just perfectly. So, yeah. There we have it. The ball now has physics. Next is density. This is how heavy it is. If you set this to zero, it will be static. But I'm going to leave it at 1.5, which is default. I'm going to leave the defaults for all of these. The collision group is states which collision group it will be in, obviously. So if it's in a different collision group than a different object, then they won't touch each other like they, they won't have any interaction with each other. Linear dampening and angular dampening. This is just how fast it'll slow over time if it's moving straight forward and there's nothing else to affect it. It's as if it's hitting the air. So this will slow it down over time. And that's about it. That's all I want for object ball so far. I'm just going to quickly repeat that steps, those steps pretty much for the next one. Object box. There we go named it object box once again uses physics and this time I'm going to use the box shape not the circle for obvious reasons and modify collision shape I'm just going to move it over there perfect we now have box alrighty so I'll hit OK with that one as well now for the last one it's going to be a wall so let's add an object let's add our SPR wall okay and then once again, I'm going to name it. Okay, so what we do now is same as before, except for instead of using uh, box, as I did on the other one, I'm going to use shape. Not because I couldn't use box, but because I kind of want to show you how shape works. So here's how it goes. You start off here, and then you just have to click to create your shape. So I could do this if I wanted to, but I don't want to. So I'm going to delete that one. There we go. So it's it's a perfect box. So you can use this to make uh, different shapes if you're using a different sprite, not a box or a circle. But you must note that it can't be concave. It has to be convex. And yeah, otherwise it, it just won't work with this engine. You, you can't have it concave. It'll give you a warning if you do. So Anyway, and then the only difference with this one is I don't want it to hit any other anything else. I don't want it to uh, react to gravity or anything. So I'm going to set it to zero, so it won't won't fall and it won't bounce away from other objects. Okay, done with that one. So now let's bring back up the ball because right away they won't actually hit each other. They just they just won't. So what you need to do is add collision event with another object say box and you need to stick anything here because if you don't stick anything in the actions event it'll remove the object um, the collision event so you, you need to stick something in action but since I don't really care for it to do anything I'm just gonna stick in here a note that says null so that won't do anything it'll just keep this action here so with this here this tells the collision the uh, physics engine that I do want to be able to hit this object so this gives you an amazing amount of control over which objects can hit which objects. 
it's it's really nice. So I'm also going to want to have it uh, hit myself. So other versions of myself, I want it to hit that as well. And obviously also the wall, I'm going to want it to hit those two. So now we're done with that object and the box, I'll just quickly repeat those steps. Collision with ball, collision with box, and collision with wall. Okay. Now I know I, I, I'm not going to stick anything in a wall because once again, I don't want the wall to move. So here we go. They will all bounce on roll and stuff off of each other. So now we go to the room. Now this is an important part that most people will overlook in the beginning. Um, well, first, obviously, we're gonna let's quickly stick some objects in our room. Start with object wall. There we go. So we got ourselves some boundaries. Okay, and now we stick in some balls. Maybe I'll stick one there, 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 and there, and then some boxes. Maybe there, there. And there, uh, right there. How about that? But we'll see how that works. Okay. Now the part that will actually start the physics rolling, because if I started it right now, these objects would not move at all. This is because they're not acted upon by gravity currently. So all we have to do, because it the, the physics engine needs a physics world. So you could create this with code, or you can go into the room and go room and physics world and check that box. So this will let the room take control of the physics properties of the world. So it's defaulted to 10 gravity in the y-axis, which will make them all go down. And pixels to meter ratio, I'll just leave this at the default. So now, all done. I am literally already made an entire physics engine with the new GameMaker Studio. So let's quickly test it out and see what we created. There we go. Physics. Nice. So, you may notice the balls kind of fell. This one still rolling for some reason. So it's not the best collision system I've ever seen, but it's really fast and really easy to work with. So I'm, I'm definitely happy with it. It is much more powerful than I showed you here, but this is the basics of it. I'll do a more advanced tutorial later on when I get more advanced in it. So anyway, I hope you liked this tutorial and uh, goodbye.